Hey everybody, it's me, Alex. Now you have a choice this weekend. You can do nothing or you can give three Fs. That is fun, food, and frivolity. The black and white ball for the LGBTQA community, along with the Torch Awards, is a guaranteed good time. Here to tell us all about it is the event co-chair Ramon Garcia, along with keynote speaker Cecilia Chung. Guys, it's so good to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So let's dive right into it. Tell us, what is the LGBTQA black and white ball? The LGBTQA black and white ball is the first of hopefully many. It's the first annual uh, black tie affair for the LGBT community. Um, as well as the Torch Awards, Tucson Organizers Recognizing Community Help, where we'll be recognizing uh, several members of the community as well as an organization for kind of the unsung work that happens in the community, helping people and kind of carrying that light forward. Right, and the, the Torch you know, Awards are something that really hasn't been done in Tucson before. It's unique, isn't it? It's very unique. Uh, it's something that we're starting out with, recognizing people who give without wanting the recognition, without really expecting the recognition, but really have given a lot to the community of their own heart, time, and money. And how profound is it, would you say, for the LGBTQA community for an event like this to be put on? I, I think it's extremely profound in the fact that for the longest time, there's a lot of fundraisers that happen out there for very specific causes, um, and we're going to be doing something very unique, uh, a black tie affair, which really hasn't happened in that community um, in a long time in Tucson. Getting people out, having fun, dressing up, and having a good night with some good food and, and, and music and everything. Of course, a lot of camaraderie, and you get everybody together, and they just look amazing. And you're going to have all sorts of people speaking there, including you, Cecilia, right? What are you going to be talking about at this event? Well, first of all, I feel really honored to be invited to this first um, black and white ball and what I'm going to focus on is really about building solidarities in communities and also talk about you know like some of the uncharted territory so to speak um, after marriage equalities I think um, there is still a lot of um, activities and also um, activisms happening you know in various courses I think that this would be a good time to unite all of us absolutely and you know People have heard of LGBTQ, but it's the first time I heard of the A at the end. So what does the A stand for in that? The A stands for allies, um, members who don't identify as LGBT or Q, um, but are affiliated with the community either through a family member, friends, or just uh, because they want to help out their fellow human being. Right. Really. And, uh, you well, know, we're recognizing some people in the community for that as well. Well, I'm all for that. And I myself am an ally. And uh, on that note, who's going to be uh, hosting your event that uh, night? Well, we have this real individual <laughs> that uh, is real close that <laughs> we'll be hosting. It's, it'll be you. Yes. Uh, you've agreed to come out and uh, MC our event for us. Uh, uh, my co-chair, Bianca uh, Lucrecia, um, and myself have kind of put together this program where we'll be having some entertainment. Um, Cecilia, who's come out from San Francisco, who's uh, a fairly well-known social justice advocate uh, across the country, um, will have some entertainers, and we have awardees even from as far down south as Bisbee coming in for, for this event. Well, I have to tell you, it's an honor to be invited to do this, and uh, I'm so excited to be with everybody and just to have a great night of just supporting each other, you know, just accepting everyone as they are, and I'm really looking forward to it. Now, what kind of sponsors can we, people expect to see there? Uh, we've got several sponsors. We've got uh, some politicians that are, that are coming out. Uh, we have some organizations that have put out... Uh, some money, individuals um, who are also sponsoring um, that are sponsoring at different levels um, and their involvement is, is also at different levels. Um, some are just sponsoring us with money, some are sponsoring us with donations. We have a great silent auction happening as well as a raffle um, that will be happening that evening to really kind of gauge excitement and. Uh, and of course. And participation. Yeah, definitely. It, it really is exciting. And if people want to go to this and they want to attend and be part of it, how can they actually get tickets for this? Absolutely. You can actually call 551-8373 and get tickets. Uh, we can find us on Brown Paper Tickets. Uh, we have an event page there as well if you want to buy them online. Still have a few tickets available. 
Um, and we may even have some at the door for some of the, those last minute stragglers that, that show up. Right, that always happens. Well, guys, like I said, I'm super excited for it. I'm really looking forward to it. And I want to thank you so much for coming on and talking about it today. Thank you, Alex. See you tomorrow night. Absolutely. Thank you. And like I said, the Black and White Ball and Torch Awards will take place tomorrow at 6 p.m. sharp at the Hotel Tucson City Center. For more information and tickets, you can call 551-8373 or find the event on brownpapertickets.com.